Okay, so what we're going to cover now is uh, we'd like to cover ward off rollback. Uh, some question has come to that, so we'll. This is my friend Gigi, and student, and we'll uh, practice ward off rollback. Okay, so she's showing a punch. So I'm warding off. What I want to do is come in, grab the back of the elbow like a baseball. I've got a wrist lock. I'm going to pull her. As I'm pulling her, let's do it this way from the camera. As I'm pulling her, I'm using this elbow to the sternum for the ner central nervous system, and I'm taking her eyes out. Okay, that's one system, or one style. Another one you could be, if you want to do a mother-in-law technique, if she's throwing that punch, mm -hmm. I can actually press here and press here. Put her on the ground, no problem. Uh, so that kind of covers ward off roll back. Once again, I just want to cover the basics. I don't really want to do a whole lot more than that. Uh, lead the horse to water. Okay, so she throws the left punch. So what I want to do is I want to cover, but you'll notice I'm covering with both hands. Because I'm not very strong this way. So what I want to do is cover with both hands. So come around, put an arm lock on her. Pick her around. She throws a punch. I'm going to block, shoot the bow, mm -hmm. pulling her into this hit. Now what that looks like in the form is simply ward off, lead the horse to water, roll back, shoot the bow. Okay? So that's one method. I'll share one more. Uh, same thing. As she's showing uh, her left punch, I want to come around. Now watch what I'm going to do this time. Shock in the system. In other words, I can make my circle small enough she has a hard time staying up with it. Now all of a sudden she's throwing her punch. I want to block, pull her into it again. However, I'm going to show one other thing. As I'm pulling her around, I may just decide to step back and break her leg. And that's the foot of, that's the reason why when you see my foot sometimes, You'll see me pull my foot back and step out. That symbolizes breaking the knee. So you definitely want to have a block and a strike, You're pulling them into them. There's a reason for the pull too. And I'm pulling her around. She throws her punch. I want to be able to extend. I can take her down right here. Feel that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you'll notice I still haven't get him, given up my block here. So the way, the proper way to do that, you start here, it's large. You get smaller, 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 smaller. Then as it starts getting larger again, you know you've got a vicious lock. So, ah, uh, just relax. Okay, so if I was here and I wanted to grab her, I would just simply not grab here. I would go down until I have a gra good grab of the mm. Okay. Does that make sense? So if she was throwing a punch, okay, so I've got that grab right there. I come in to hit with the elbow, she blocks it. I would just take her fingers right here and take them out of socket. That's going to hurt. Definitely. <laughs> All right.